In this video, I will show you how to create this dynamic assignment tracker sheet in Microsoft Excel. First, let me quickly present the demo of this sheet and then start making this from scratch. In assignment type, subject, status, and priority level columns, values can be selected from the drop down list. Based on the values selected in status column, the row will get automatically highlighted. That is green color for completed, red color for not started, and yellow color for the in progress. When you input due date for the assignment, the days left will auto-calculate. At the top, you can see overall status of assignment like total number of assignment, completed assignment, and the percentage complete. Let's start learning how to make it from scratch. In a new sheet, put assignment tracker sheet in A1 cell. In the row number 5, put the required column headers which are assignment type, subject slash course, status due date, priority level, days left, and remarks. Apply color highlight in header row. Make the title text bold and merge the cells till G1 cell. Select few rows and apply borders. Here I'm taking till row number 13, for example. Later, this can be increased when required. Select A6 to A13 range. Click on Data tab. Data Validation. In this drop-down, choose List. And, in the source of the list, put the type of assignments by separating each with comma. Click on OK. This will create a drop-down selection menu in the Assignment Type column from which you can choose the type of assignment. Following the same method, create drop-down selection menu in Subject, Status, and Priority Level columns. In the Days Left column, use this formula to calculate the remaining days to complete the assignment. Press equal to, click on the due date, minus, today, open and close bracket. Drag the formula down till 14th row. Change the cell formatting to number. Let's put a date in due date. Days Left is calculated as six days. Even though there is nothing in the due date, Minus 45,739 is there in days left. Fix this issue by combining if function in the formula. If D6 equal to blank, then display blank. Otherwise, subtract today's date from the due date. This will only show days left after filling date in due date. Now, to auto-highlight rows based on values of status column with different colors, use the conditional formatting. Select from A6 to G13 range. Click on Home tab, Conditional Formatting, New Rule. Use a formula to determine which cell to format. In the formula box, write this formula. Equals dollar C6 equals double quotes. Completed, double quotes. Click on Format button. Click on Fill tab. Choose the color highlight for completed assignment. That is the green color. Click on OK buttons. Now, when you choose completed in the status, row will get auto highlighted. Now, for the in progress and not started assignment, you can duplicate the first rule and modify the rule. For this, select the range, click on conditional formatting and manage rules. Click on the rule and click on duplicate rule. Click on the duplicated rule, then click on edit rule. In the formula, change completed to in progress. And in the format, take yellow color and click on OK. Now, for the not started assignment, set up red color by following the same method. In B3 cell, write total assignment. In D3, write completed and in F3, write percent complete. For the total assignment, use the count A function. For completed assignment, use COUNTIF function. For the percent complete, divide completed assignment by total assignment and apply percentage formatting.
Now, to lock the title and column header, click on the A6 cell. Click on View tab, then Freeze Panes. Here I have made it till row number 13 only. To increase the number of row, select the row and drag it down using Fill Handle. And the formula used for total and completed assignment is taken till 1000 row. If your record exceeds 1000 row, increase the row reference in the formula. Now the assignment tracker sheet is ready. Enjoy tracking and managing assignments dynamically in Excel Sheet.